Hey everybody, Mandy here, and I am going to show you a lovely little flower canvas decoration, perfect for Mother's Day. It's super easy, super cute, and only needs a couple materials, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to need are these adorable little canvases. Now, I have passed these in Michaels like a million times, always wondering, what I can do with them because they're so cute. So I finally came up with something. Now there's two different sizes you can see um, and they're you know, both super tiny but the tinier is always the cuter thing to do, right? So I'll leave it up to you to decide which one you wanna do. Then I got these really fun Martha Stewart paints with a satin finish. They come in an array of really awesome, fun, very springy colors so I got a couple of those. You're going to want to paint your canvases first, or you could leave them blank, um, depending on what color felt you're gonna use for your flowers. A white canvas might be a nice thing to do. We'll try both today. Then, you will need to get some colorful felt of your choosing, and you're also gonna need a glue gun. So first, let's start. I have here three different types of flowers that I made. A rose, this like other daisy-ish, looking one and then this one here and they're all really really easy they only need to do different types of cuts with the felt so let's do the first one let's do the rose first get your felt and cut yourself a nice long strip it's just easier to work with when you have a smaller piece because you're going to be doing an intricate cut so cut yourself a nice long strip like that then all you're going to do for this pattern is do sort of like a wave like this then the next step is you're going to take your glue gun and add a little strip of glue at the bottom. Watch those fingers. And then start to roll it up along the glue. And just add more glue as you go. And you can see as you're rolling, it's starting to take shape as the rose. Already looking pretty. Then that strip that you you that you cut out before that you're marking, you can actually just um, clean that up a little bit and add it right onto that part where you finished up. Just glue a little bit. Keep on going. Now you can see this nice little felt rose. Get that glue gun again and just place glue all on the back side of it. Nice big glob. Then place it directly in the center of that canvas that you painted or didn't paint, up to you. Fluff it a little and give it that nice little flowery shape. Again, same as the rose, you're gonna cut yourself a nice long strip. And for this one, this is gonna take a little bit longer process, but you just hold it in between, I hold it in between my thumb and my two uh, first fingers, and you're just gonna make these little teeny tiny cuts about halfway down, a little less, but just a bunch of them all the way down the strip. And just like with the rose, same sort of process. Add your glue along the bottom part and start rolling it up. Then, when it's all rolled up, just sort of like floof it out like you did with the rose. And for the little canvas, I think you only need to do one strip. If you're doing a bigger canvas, you can add more. Same deal, put that hot glue on the back and just pop it in the center. Just like that. Then lastly, for the hanger in the back, you can just make a hanger for one canvas or you can connect multiple ones, it's totally up to you, but the same process, it's the same pro process. Take some craft wire, now I found this in the jewelry making section of Michaels. Cut yourself strip and you can see I, cu I cut that wire with regular scissors it's not gonna be super thick but it does bend nicely then on the back of your canvas just hold it in place one end in place 
while you hot glue, hot glue the back. And you're gonna have to hold it there for a little bit while the hot glue dries so that you can do the other side. Just make sure you're holding both ends so that it doesn't warp or go in a wonky direction because once you hot glue it in, it's pretty much stuck there. But once you get both sides of your hanger on, you can kind of bend it and shape it. This makes a sweet little evergreen flower for mom for Mother's Day so that she can have it all year round and not just fresh ones on her special day. If you like this craft and you wanna see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.